Have you ever tried to explain something to someone by sending uh, a text or an email message and you find yourself writing paragraph after paragraph, pretty soon you've got a whole book that you're writing uh, just trying to explain something and you think, boy, if I could just verbally explain it, or better yet, if I could show you, it would make this so much easier. Well, the other day I was clicking around inside of Foxy PDF Editor, you know, the way that one does. As you can imagine, they, they don't let us out much. And I came across what's almost a hidden feature inside of the editor. And I can't wait to show this to you. I didn't know it was there. I'm not sure if anybody knows it's there. Uh, and it's the audio and video insert. So I found this tool because I had seen right up here in my little tool wizard, audio and video. Select an area on a page and insert an audio or video file there. Very interesting. It's actually right here under edit and it's right here towards the end. It says audio and video. So for example, let's say we've got a homework assignment that we want to send out, but we want to be able to explain it to them, or maybe not even them. We want to be able to explain it probably to the parents. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. This I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. And that's what brings me neatly along to this cool feature. Let's pop open some homework and let's add some video to it to explain how to complete this assignment. All right, so here I've got my homework. Uh. So here we've got some homework, and we're gonna add a little bit of video to this to explain how to complete this assignment. Now, obviously, before we can even add anything, we actually have to have video. And for doing that, I've got a great tool you can try. So this is Loom, and I'll have links to everything that I'm doing in the description below, uh, but you can get to this very easily. It's just loom.com. Sign up for a free account. It is free forever. Uh, it's just limited in the number of videos that you can have and how long those videos can be. So you can see it's really easy to use. There's a little button here at the corner bottom that says record a video. So I'm gonna click on that. All right, now that I've got it recording the whole screen, I'm gonna go ahead and click share. It's gonna give me a countdown and then it's going to start recording. So now I can bring my homework up to the front like this. So we can see here's my little picture, I'll just leave it down there, and there's my homework. So now I can start explaining. Hello everybody, and this is how you complete the following assignment. Today, we're going to learn to make plutonium from common household items. I am not going to embarrass myself by trying to explain how to complete simple math just because I'm afraid I might get it wrong. Once I'm done recording my video, I'm just gonna click back over here and click stop. And there we go, my video has been recorded. At this point, uh, there's a lot of other little uh, things that I could do. There's like an editing feature here if I wanted to trim the video up or, or make a couple of simple edits. We're not gonna bother with any of that. There's also ways that you can link to this video, but again, we're trying to get away from that because we're dealing with the issue of sometimes people can't reach some of these sites. Like we, we don't wanna just share it to YouTube because people can't seem to reach YouTube all the time. We're going to download this video instead and add it to our PDF. One thing to note, if you don't see the download button right away or if it's like grayed out and you can't seem to click on it, it's because it's still processing the video so you have to give it a little bit of time. So you give it a few minutes, you might even need to refresh and then the download link will be available. You click these three little buttons, come here to download, and I'm gonna download my video. Back to Foxit PDF Editor. So we're in the Edit tab, and I'm gonna come over here to Audio and Video, and I'm going to click on it. This is gonna change my cursor into this little plus sign, which means I can now click and drag to create a box. I wanna to try to make a box that's gonna be about the same shape as the video. So let's do it like this. That looks good. As soon as I create my box, this little window pops up and it just wants to know where my file is. So I'm gonna click browse, go to my how to complete your math homework video. I'd like to embed this into the document. I would like to show the player 
and let's go ahead and save it. Oh, this down here, poster settings, this is actually the thumbnail for the video. So if you really wanna get fancy, you can make a thumbnail of the video. We are not gonna get that fancy here right now. Uh, I just wanna show you the basics of how this works and then we're gonna leave it up to your imagination all the different ways that you could use this. So let's go ahead and click OK. Going back to my home tab, going back to my hand tool so I can just click things with my hand. And you'll notice when I hover it over this square, it now turns into this little finger icon here, and if I click, now I can bring my homework up to the front like this. So you can see here's my... Now here's where it starts to get a little bit weird. You'll notice that before I clicked on it, all I had was a box and there was nothing in it. It just was a box. If you want something there, you will have to create some kind of a thumbnail that says click me to play or something like that so that people know to click on it to play the video. You'll also notice that when I hovered my mouse over it, there were no buttons. I didn't see a play button or anything, and clicking on it didn't seem to do anything. That's because I have to right click on it, and when you right click, that changes to give you these different options. So I play and pause, I can stop the video, I can change the play speed and play it faster or slower, I can change the volume of the video if I want from here instead of changing it on the computer. So you've got a couple of options here. You may need to include some additional text along the side here if you don't want to create an image that says play this video, you could just, you know, type in some text right in here. I can come right here to my edit tab and I will come here to add text and I can click right here on the side. Uh, click this box to play a video. Uh, right click to see play pause options. We'll just grab these two things and move them where we want them. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now we see when I click on the box, it starts playing the video. And I'll click again to pause and stop. That's it. That's how you add a video file to a PDF. All right, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna call it as homework with video. And the reason why I wanted to save this now is because I wanna show you something else. Video files can be kind of big. No way! Depending on how long they are, and you know what kind of quality they're recorded in, Loom tends to make some pretty small videos as far as file size goes. So you can make a video that's a couple of minutes long and it's not gonna be something humongous and horrible. But if you're pulling videos from other sources or if you're recording videos off of your phone and adding those to your PDF, some of those files can be very, very big. That just adds to the size of the PDF overall. So it's just something to be aware of. Uh, I definitely recommend going with a lower resolution video if you're going to be adding it to a PDF. There's usually no need for it to be like in 4K and, you know, surround sound and all of that silliness. You just want something very simple so that people can see it and you can explain how to do something and it's understandable and, and viewable. So you can see here the file that I have that has the video embedded in it. Uh, the total file size is only two and a half meg, so it's relatively small even with the video added to it. Now if you didn't want to add video, if you instead just wanted to add audio, there are ways that you can do that, and there are some programs out there that will allow you to record your uh, your audio or your voice for free on the computer. I would love to show you that if you're interested, so make sure you leave some comments down below. Let me know if that's something you'd like me to show you or, or walk through for you. But as far as adding video content to your PDF, uh, I hope that this was helpful, uh, or at the least, I hope it was interesting. Leave some comments down below. Is this something that you would use? Would you add video to your PDFs so that your students or your students' parents could understand it? I'll just wait for mom to get back. What? Uh, let me know your take on this. Well, how do you feel about this? And as always, if you would please like the video and subscribe if it's your first time here, it would mean the world to us. Uh, we really appreciate you. And I'm so glad you were here to see this. I'm Charles from Foxit. Thanks so much again. You have a wonderful day. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.